Good afternoon, I'm Haley Minogue. While many businesses are closed and people are staying inside, some don't have that luxury. Dennis Ting spoke with some homeless outreach workers about what they've seen with these new changes. Many of us have been told to practice social distancing, but some people, like those living at this shelter, they don't have that opportunity. The doors to Catalyst Rescue Mission's shelter in Jeffersonville are still open for now. But shelter manager Paul Stensrud says the spread of coronavirus has led them to make some big changes. All of our residents that are in-house that we're just saying, stay put, we're feeding you here, we're providing all the services, we have a doctor coming in as well. Paul says homeless outreach organizations like his know the communities they serve often aren't able to practice social distancing, which is why they're working on keeping people as safe as possible giving them resources and education. Many of them don't even know what's going on because they're disconnected from the news. They don't have cell phones. Across the river in Kentucky, homeless outreach groups are staying busy, having seen a drop in donations, volunteers, and resources. Just as uh, the EMTs and uh, emergency response aren't really able to just take off, we're in that same situation. They say right now they're asking people who can to reach out to local outreach organizations to donate resources or time. And they're calling on city leaders to act specifically to help the homeless population find shelter so they can better protect themselves. It just doesn't matter what, where you're from or how much you have or what you do. What does matter is how we treat each other through this. Almost everyone I spoke with say this is still a very fluid situation, so they'll continue to evaluate and make changes to keep the people they serve and themselves safe. In southern Indiana, Dennis Ting, WHAS 11 News.